that's how I feel at the moment. So I'm a bit upset because I'm quite happy that it's Friday, right? And I know for those of you listening to the show for a while, or for those of you that have heard me in the recent weeks, or for those of you that see me in person, or for those of you that have heard me speak in person, for those of you that might be my friends, you'll know that I'm not someone that um, ascribes to the idea of like looking forward to days, right? If anything, my favorite day of the week is a Monday, right? I love a Monday because it's a chance for me to reset and to start um, and start again and anything I wanted to do previously because, you know, by and large, I'm always doing some sort of scheme, some sort of plan, some sort of workout regimen, some sort of diet, some sort of content plan, some sort of practice i want to do whatever it may be called some sort of skill i want to learn i'm always doing something every week right so mondays for me are an opportunity for me to correct the wrongs that i've um i've done last week off to build on the rights that i've done the previous week so for me it's just a good time to kind of you know press start uh press reset or turn on a new leaf but i know for most people that subscribe to the whole like work days um work days have a big influence on how i feel sort of um idea mondays probably represent um, the worst time of the week or or maybe even a Sunday evening right when it's fast approaching 8 p.m and you're just lying in bed watching some benign thing on Netflix or scrolling through your social media feed it's like oh fuck man I have to go back to this bullshit again on Monday I get it I understand and I feel your pain but I think um, primarily in my um, experience or for me personally I kind of I don't ascribe to that sort of feeling because in my head or my dreams, or the things that I want to do, they are far and above anything that's happening in the present, right? So I have very lost the ambitions for what I want to do in my life. So I think all the stuff I'm doing now is just temporary, and it's sort of like, um, it's the path I have to go down in order to get to what I want to get to at the end of the road, right? And there is no there is no end of the road, really, but I'm just talking about figuratively, right? It's where I want to get to in terms of my overall dreams. So when it comes to working week to week, I just take it for what it is, you know? It, it kind of allows me to um, speak to you guys, allows me to pay my hosting fees, allows me to pay my rent, uh, buy food, whatever it may be. You know, it, it, it has its benefits, but I don't see it, I don't see anything past that, right? Because I have other dreams, I have other aspirations. So I kind of get a bit tempered down. But I think in the last few weeks or in the last few months, I've kind of reached a bit of a stumbling block. I've kind of reached a bit of a low point where I'm starting to think, fuck, man, how long is it going to take for me to finally get to where I want to get to, right? Because I'm starting to do the things that I've said I was going to do. I'm DJing regularly. I'm recording a podcast regularly. I'm reading a lot. Um, I might, I'm might. i not blogging as much as I should be blogging. I'm still going to do in terms of writing because I want to write a lot because I'm not doing that at the moment. Um, what else I'm not doing at the moment? I'm probably not vlogging as much as I've said I will blog either. I haven't done that. I'm not making as many videos, maybe, that aren't podcast. So there's things that I'm not doing, but for the most part, the things that I really want to do in terms of podcasts and DJing, I'm doing them, right? So I'm, I'm at that level where I'm able to play out most weekends. Um, I'm able to record a podcast every other day, and I'm able to get, you know, a decent amount of downloads, a decent amount of views on YouTube. So I'm kind of like, fuck, man, like, how long is it going to take me to finally get to where I want to get to, innit? So it kind of gets you a bit down. And when that gets me a bit down, I start to then get a bit annoyed with my work, right? Because usually I don't get annoyed with the, my 9 to 5. My 9 to 5 is usually the thing that I think is my... Um uh, it's sort of like the scaffolding around my building, essentially, right? It, it, it kind of, it's my support system in a kind of way, right? But if you take it off, it's not going to, you know, the building ain't going to collapse. But it kind of helps me to do things, you know, to, to make sure I, I can do some repairs and some maintenance around the building. So that's how I kind of see my workplace. But now, um, because I'm feeling down with the stuff I'm doing outside of it, I'm, I'm kind of, um, I'm attaching... I want to say ego, but I'm attaching expectation to what I'm doing, right? Which I ha wasn't doing before. I was a bit expectationless. I kind of just did stuff and threw it into the internet. The same way how I use social media. When I post on Instagram, I sort of post and dump. I don't really interact or go on it or browse, look at people's stories for the most part. I'm kind of just like now and off of it. Maybe apart from the weekend, if I'm high or something, I might kind of browse through people's stories and shit. But for the most part, I kind of tend to like keep a bit distance from it. So I've kind of seen myself get a bit down and a little bit, you know, a bit annoyed with work. And that obviously leads to me now, this today, kind of like waking up before I went to the gym, like thinking to myself, oh, thank God it's Friday. And I had to catch myself when I said that. I was like, nah, no, 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 no. That's not me. I can't be saying those kind of words. Those words can't be even uttered in my mouth, let alone um, said in my head. Um, but I've kind of, un I've recognized the, I've recognized the emotion. I sat with it and I was just like, you know what? Cool. What this basically means is that I'm attaching expectation to what I'm doing, right? And I need to not do that. I need to kind of pull myself back and kind of observe what I'm doing and just be thankful of just how much I've done so far and just see so much room, how much room there is for growth and where else I can go in what direction, what else I could do. And hopefully 
by committing myself to getting better at certain things or by committing myself to doubling down on reading a lot because imagine I read an hour or two hours a day but I could be doing more I could be doing an hour interrupted I could be doing two hours uninterrupted I could be taking time out on my weekends to read because I usually only read on Monday to Fridays when I'm at work um from during my lunch break or on my way to work and on my way back from work you know I mean that kind of commute thing I could be doing those things I'm not doing them as much as I could be I could be recording pod I could be recording even more podcasts I could be recording more videos and cutting them up and making them more youtube friendly i could be um what else i could be maybe talking about more interesting things maybe stuff that's gonna i don't know increase my vir virality virality right um i could be recording more dj mixes and getting them out there and kind of tagging people and whatever it may be i could be doing a lot more things that could be getting me close to where i want to get to so i can't be that annoyed that I'm feeling the way I'm feeling because that means essentially there's some gaps missing, some things I'm not doing. By and large, I'm doing what I want. I'm doing what I think is right. And I'm kind of slowly but surely getting to where I think I should be going to. I'm in a kind of the right direction, but I really, really need to steer myself on the correct course and get myself where I need to get to. So that's kind of where I've been mindset wise. And because of that, I think it's no coincidence that once I kind of was thinking that way, the podcast I'm listening to at the moment is an episode of Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tank. Um, you can check it out on iTunes and whatever you listen to podcasts. It's called Ari Shafir's Skeptic Tank. And it's episode number 353 with none other than Tim Ferriss. All right, and I got it there on the camera if you guys are watching. If not, then you can um, view it another time. But Tim Ferriss is basically the guy that started all this for me, right? He's the one that started this whole entire journey of um, realizing that maybe exchanging my time for money in terms of in a working in kind of you know in the workspace wasn't the most effective effective use of my time and having this idea of a deferred life plan the idea is that you know i will do x y and z when i'm this age right when i finally retire then i'll finally go and ride my motorcycle across china that's the example they use in the book or that's when i'll finally go and decide to move to berlin or that's why i finally go and move to nicaragua no you can do it right now so that's what i'm kind of focusing on doing um making sure i do that and part of the journey that i'm going to do now is i'm going to i'm actually going to paris um in a couple of months so to go visit um girlfriend's friend so um we're going to go there for a bit so what i'm going to do is i'm going to learn a bit of french um to spruce up myself to want to go to paris and i'm also going to pick up my spanish again because another one of her friends is coming over who i really like and um her english isn't the best but i, I quite i like her a lot i mean she's quite a funny girl and i don't really want to have her make her feel uncomfortable so i want to i want to make her feel as comfortable as possible so i want to have my spanish just a little bit brushed up i mean just so i can exchange some pleasantries here or there so that'll be really um encouraging to do and that's going to happen right now all right i'm already um started a couple of lessons on my duolingo i've got my books ready that i'm doing now and i'm going to get started with doing that so French and Spanish, um, up the podcasting, um, up in the writing, um, recording, DJ mixing, whatever it takes for me to kind of finally figure out and realize that, you know what, you might not be where you want to be just yet, but you're going to get there eventually. Just take your time, take your time, take your time. And that's why essentially I am. And obviously attach no expectations to stuff, man. That's, that's, that's when it, that's when the game gets a bit boring. That's when nothing is fun anymore. When you're attaching expectation, you're hoping for things to happen. Um, I'm doing this for fun. I'm doing it because I've, I get pleasure out of actually sitting here and talking to people on the interwebs, whoever they may be. If it's one person, two person, five, four, ten, eleven, whatever. Um, this kind of brings me a lot of joy and also allows my mind to not be so clogged up with, you know, um, whatever mental issue that I may, I may have lingering um, inside of me somewhere. Lame door.